When school buildings are shut down for remote learning, that usually means jobs are shut down too, like school bus drivers, daycare workers, and paraprofessionals. But under the Adams 12 five-star schools plan, to provide learning pods for some students to do remote learning in small groups inside school buildings, it provided a chance no other district has, according to Paul Williams. So my initial reaction was just to make sure that, that kids and, and uh, staff are safe. Williams is president of the Classified School Employees Association. Under this learning pod plan, teachers will lead instruction remotely, but classified employees will supervise in person in classrooms as learning pod leaders, giving kids support, giving people a job. This is more for the, for the folks who would not be engaged, our bus drivers, our bus paras, paraeducators in the schools, um, before and after school folks. Williams says they'll be paid their normal rate. You know, employees are constantly fighting for hours. While also being offered longer shifts than normal. Um, even the paraeducators in the schools, you know, they might be a student monitor who's only working four hours a day. Now they could have an opportunity of, of possibly working up to eight hours a day. While retaining, Williams says, hard to replace employees like bus drivers. You know, my hope is that this gets legs and we're able to fill all the pods and that we're able to have all of our classified employees who are wanting to work working. With hopes that school and jobs return to normal one day again. So for this to be have an opportunity for folks to be able to come in and, and still get paid um, while we're able to, to continue this remote learning, um, this was definitely a win-win for us. In North Glen, Nelson Garcia, 9 News. The Adams 12 school district will be in remote learning through at least September 25th. Williams says classified employees are not being forced to work as learning pod leaders. He says their normal jobs are secure if they choose not to work, but they won't be getting paid until school buildings reopen.